Good morning. Uh, we're going to do this painting of the Thomas Lannan uh, sitting in Gloucester Harbor. That's a painting from a painting I did uh, plein air there. Right, we're going to start with a wash of a brilliant yellow in the sky, bring that all the way down to the bottom of the buildings, and then a, a wash of rose, and now a wash of cobalt blue. So you just let those run, do them all while they're wet. Let one run right on top of the other. Okay, so I say on top because you don't want to press too hard and mix them. All right, we're going to paint the water now, the ocean. Uh, the only thing we have to save here is the light on the boat. Uh, there's uh, the white on the top of the land and where you're looking inside the boat and also inside the dory that's sitting beside uh, the land. And all right, this is a mix of uh, phthalo blue and a touch of cadmium red to get that watercolor blue. Uh, and it's very light, you can see. Uh, that's going to dry very light. But we'll get that in there and we'll let it bring it all the way down to the bottom, bottom of your painting. Uh, in the bottom, you can enrich it a little bit. I added a little bit of uh, phthalo blue there just to warm up the bottom that helps bring that forward all right it's dry now so I'm going in with some gray this is the same three colors iridium yellow rose and cobalt blue mixed to a gray a lot less water obviously uh, so we're I'm painting the roofs of the building there uh, there's a bunch of uh, fish shacks and big uh, you know long uh, fish processing buildings there that we have uh, and on the left is uh, the Cape Pond Ice Building which has become iconic uh, since the uh, since the movie The Perfect Storm. Alright so I painted the roofs and now I'm going in with some red on the side of the buildings that is cadmium red and cobalt blue and you can mix that it's a darker red you know and this is just the side of the buildings a little piece of light there hitting that roof so i'm going to leave that and the part of the roof on the right is flat so i'll leave that white you can see the white hitting all that all right we're going to go in now and paint the um, platform there's a dock that runs all along that building platform and runs into th that round circle on the right is a is a, a reel it's a net a net reel that goes on the boat uh, that I'll paint in a little bit later and I left it white all right this is under the dock now very dark uh, it's it's not quite it looks black but it's not black it's a uh, ultramarine with a touch of Quinciana, and I added some red in there. Uh, you can, it's hard to see in the video, but it's 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 a warm, it's a very warm dark. So we want to establish that. Keep it nice and wet. Give it a little spray because we want to bring that the reflection of that down into the water. Just painting around the boat there. All right, adding water now. Uh, it, you can see it's very juicy. This is the reflection of all that black, and there's a boat on the right. Uh, all right, I'm going to bring the, the uh, ripples in here using a flat brush. Just think of it, as, you know, just think of the waves coming out and casting that, you know, where the light hits it as well. So it's nice and random right, and you can see I'm just bringing it I brought it down as the black but I add I'm adding some cadmium red here that's nice and warm and that'll that'll just dissolve right into the water and it gets very muted as it dries so it won't look as strong but it'll warm up that dark nicely so you, it, you don't want that nice you don't want that black cold color there you want it to be warm a nice dark warm 
all right so let it run down give it a spray if you need to you know just get those ripples in there okay just come down you don't you don't want to come down too far but just you know you have to use your own judgment I guess just using a flat brush with horizontal strokes and joining them here and there and let that water run down that's it it's a nice reflection that gives you that beautiful reflection there. All right, so I'm going to finish this boat up. Uh, I'm going to make this red boat the same as it's a big uh, uh, swordfish boat. I'm putting a darker that it looks black, but it, it's it's ultramarine and quinciana. But I'm pushing the quinciana, so it looks like a rusty bottom on that boat. A little slant on that and then I'm going to bring that right into the little piece there now let that run right into the water add a little red to it so it's reflecting down into the water just painting that reel this is the shadow on the reel Looks like a big spindle. It's for, you know, it's for uh, holding the nets. The nets roll right up in that. All right, we'll paint the lantern now. This is, uh, the lantern is actually green. Uh, so that looks very dark. It's ultramarine, and I added a touch of uh, raw sienna to it. And, and it is green, but in the video it looks very black. Right, there's a there's a rail there that I'm leaving a little spot for. So the left side of the boat is very dark. It's not getting any light. That's why it looks it looks almost black. Painting around the dory. There's a dory uh, right next to it, tied right up to the dock there. And connected to the to the lantern. Right, so the left side of the boat, very dark, there's a reflection going down into the water. Right, on the right side, I'm starting with halo blue. On the very right, it's going to get a lot of light. So I started with uh, the blue, and then I'll bring that in. But I'll, I'm going to join some of this color together, as you see. I'm going to make it very dark as it comes to the middle there. All right. So the right edge is very light, and then it gets very dark. Now just let those let those join. I will bring this reflection down. So bring it down, you know, bring it down with water, kind of juicy first. You know, don't worry about the color yet. Just get that shape in there and then you once once you have that shape you can always feed color into it and get it you know get get the value that you're looking for all right I'm adding a, a dock over here a little piece of a a dock and that's reflecting down into the water be, behind the behind the dory all right I'm just going to bring that down painting around the reflection of the dory. I'll color that in a minute, but okay. Just let all that color run together, bring it down. I added some phthalo blue, as you can see, and bring that over to our boat. Little pieces of reflection, more ripples coming in. Thalo blue with some, uh, you know, just some water. I'm just getting some color in the water here, uh, joining it with the, that, uh, the reflections of the boat. Much stronger on the bottom again. You really want to push that thalo blue on the bottom so that it sits down. 
I'm painting the, these are reflections of the mass of the boat that I'm going to paint in later, but I figured I'd get them in now while the water is, is wet, you know, while I put that blue in there, and these will all loosen up. They look dark, but they're going to get much lighter and so forth, so. There's mass and, you know, a bunch of uh, rigging going up and down. A little piece of uh, quinacridone sienna right at the base of the boat. It's still damp, so I'm putting some stronger strokes of phthalo blue in there to, uh, they'll soften as that, as that dries up. Painting the inside of the dory. I'm sorry, that's the back of the dory. Painting the back of the dory and the side of the dory, and I'll let it go right down into the, into the reflection. All right, I'm going to do the rigging here on the on the boat, on the the uh, lobster, the uh, swordfish boat on the right there. There's all kinds of. It's all dry now, so I can notice I put a towel down on my paper so I don't smudge it all the time. I, you know, it's easy to do when you're doing a big sheet. So the, this is just a dark. Uh, there's a, there's anchors on this on that, and so those wings that those wings go down when it's out on the on the ocean and they drop they can drop those anchors and it helps it helps keep it steady all right doing the windows on the cab uh, cabin of the of the swordfish boat and there's another another piece here there's all kinds of stuff going <laughs> You know, the beauty of these boats is just so much stuff on them. You can really have fun with it. And that makes it good, you know. That really makes it authentic. It looks very, very good. Uh, adding a little turquoise of the green nets that come down into the water there. All right, uh, I'm going to do the mass on the lantern here. Now, when I do the mass, what I'm going to do is start with a cobalt blue up in the sky. Uh, and bring it right down. There's, there's two masts. It's a two mast schooner. All right, there you go. Just bring the two masts down. This is cobalt blue because the top of them is very light. You know, it's way up in the sky, so it's very light. And then I'm going in with some uh, a little quinciana mixed with a little raw sienna and I'm starting that you can see I'm starting that down from the top a little bit letting them run together just let those colors run together make it nice and strong so you all right they have a, some some wings on them that hold the get the mass up there and there's all kinds of equipment that sits on those little wings they're just silhouettes, you know, but you can see the blue, a cool that uh, cobalt blue up there, and that helps give you that sense of, of depth, you know, the height on the mass. Putting a little rigging on there. They're wound with a cable that helps the security of it. All right, this is the inside of the, the dory on the right, on the left, I mean, of the boat. Just leaving a leaving some light on the on the seats where the seats go All right, I'm using a flat brush very dark here painting painting uh, some doorways and windows on that red building I know it looks slanted there uh, but it's the way it's sitting on my desk, but uh, that's, that's a level, the dark's a level. I'm just painting some rigging in very light uh, gray colors, just picking up some gray off my palette. Bunch of rigging, a lot of lines going up and down. And there's some there's some floats, uh, there's three or four floats on each side of that rigging.
Okay. I put a little sailboat in the back there. Just a little bit of raw sienna in it. I painted around it. But the land back there is just cobalt blue with a little raw sienna in it. All right, I'm going to just put a couple of um, big, big bags on the big blocks on the dock here. Packages. You make, I'm, I'm just using, you know, dark colors and raw sienna. All right, last thing here, I'm just going to put some, uh, a little gouache to put a few lines on, tying the boat to the dock and tying the, the dory and so forth. All right. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. This is a lot of fun. Uh, Thomas Lannon, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, stay safe out there, and I'll see you real soon. Please subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. Thank you.